Good morning. I have been whipping up this contraption for the last like 20 minutes. Let me show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I have this Madelaise blanket that I got from a yard sale a couple months ago. I don't want a white jacket. So I went and got some cocoa brown writ dye. What I'm thinking is that if I hang <laughs> the blanket in the water and put like a couple of inches of hot water in there with the dye, then it will give me an ombre effect. So I cut the blanket into roughly the length that I need for each pattern piece, hung it on this thing I got at Ikea, it's supposed to be like to hang dry your clothes. And then I hung it on pants hangers. And then to balance it all out, I got these other bags and filled them. So this is this is my contraption. Um, right now, I only have cold water in there because I wanted to like saturate the bottom with water so that it will take the dye better and so then I'm going to put the hottest water my sink does and then I also have a big pot of boiling water that I'm going to put in there too and we're just going to see what happens this could either be like a massive fail or something that's kind of pretty cool time will tell so let me drain the cold water get the hot water the salt the the dish soap. I got all that stuff ready to go. So <sighs> worst thing that happens is I end up tossing a $20 blanket. Not the end of the world, right? Okay. Water's boiling. Let's do this. Why am I like shaking? Um, it says to stir for 30 minutes. So this is what I'm doing. <laughs> and I'll just alternate sides, I guess. Dang, that color is something else. Cocoa brown. And this stuff is so freaking potent. I accidentally spilled some on my floors and now the floors are pink. <laughs> this is stressful. I don't know how people do this. All right, you guys, we are 30 minutes in. It's definitely doing the pulling thing. Okay, I know that the thing said that the color will be lighter whenever you rinse it and wash it. The pulley thing is cool. It's just kind of looking like flames and I'm not really like a fiery <laughs> kind of person. Um, what do we think? Okay, so that's that. And then here's what will be the sleeve doing its thing. Not quite the same fiery and then that's gonna be the back I think I guess I kind of thought the the lighter part would be would take up more but I think if I wanted to do that truly I would now have to like lower these things and have half an hour just like from here down and then all of this would get a full hour but then I'm worried that there will be too much of like a delineation. Like I don't want there to be like a line. Yeah, it's not, it's not ombre enough. I need to do something. Oh God. Okay, now I'm scared all over again. <laughs> um, I needed it to be like halfway, which means I didn't put it in far enough to begin with. Should I just drop it in? This is so nerve wracking. Okay, hold on, let me think, let me think. Okay, you can't really see what's happening, but I dropped everything by one level. So where they were hanging off of these things, now they're hanging off of the bottom of a hanger. So all of them got dropped the same level. But as I predicted, my sink is not deep enough or the water's not deep enough. And so I don't know if this is going to be level, but unlevel could be kind of cool. At least it would show that like 
this is truly hand dyed. Um, that's what's happening with the sleeve. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. We're not talking about it. Uh, maybe I can bleach it out. And then that's the back. All right. I ran out of time <laughs> and I have to go to sewing class to teach for two hours. So what I did was I, here, let me get in here. I, um, added like a bunch more water probably doubled the amount of water so it's more diluted and then I just dropped everything in I'm really just kind of going for it now you guys because I I mean what do I have to lose I, I didn't want any of it to be white I decided but I did want the ombre so I don't know what it's going to look like when we get back we'll drain the water and rinse it and then wash it in the washing machine mm, sure this is Sahana's bag that she made for her classmate, Abby. And Abby's a bit of a goth girl. She likes black and spiders. So we put black straps and then a little bit of glitter for Sahana because that's what she likes. But still Christmassy and fun. Yay. Cute, perfect.